offering time. Blessing time. The Lord is good. And all the time. You know, this is a wonderful time to be anxious and worried. Because we are heading towards Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays. <clears throat> and um, we don't only think about the gifts to give to our friends. We also think about the gifts we have to give to our enemies. Isn't that funny? You give gifts to your enemies. You know, we were talking about Sunday school this morning. It's, it's, it's very important to realize that your enemy can never betray you. Your enemy can never betray you. The only person who can betray you is your friend. Right? That's why Judas betrayed Jesus. So, I don't know why I'm saying it. But just don't take your friends too seriously. Okay? It is your choice. So, always show the love of God. Not make yourself unhappy by what you give to them this Christmas. Amen? Let's go to Philippines. Chapter 4, verse 6. You know, I struggle every Christmas what to give to people. I, I don't know why I'm saying it, but 90% of the time I don't want to give them anything. Not because they've done me anything, but I just don't think it's right. But eventually, I'm, my hand is twisted by my wife to give them something. <laughs> she loves giving. <laughs> but, you know, just just enjoy the holidays. Yeah. Don't just don't just stress it, please. Don't stress it. It's not worth it. And you know the funny part of it? Like Pastor George used to say those days, January the bill comes. And then you feel very, very happy. <laughs> because you have to settle all those all those bills. So if you cannot give gift, I don't know why I'm saying this. If you cannot give gift because you have the cash, just don't give it. You know what I call it? Just bone face. Bone face. Bone face. B-O-N-E, bone face. When you see them, just bone them. And you know one thing you can do? This year we have the perfect excuse. No, no. Everything is held up in the pots. I couldn't find what I can give to you. It's in the boat. We have a perfect example. Hello. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. I am I am trying to perfect that example. You know. They are still working on it. If you are so mad, volunteer and go to the ports and offload my gift. <laughs> Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not. It's good enough to stress the big things, but don't stress the small things. And you know the funny part of it? Everything is small stuff. The only big stuff is actually creation of the world. Everything else, small stuff. But it says with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made to God. And if you can express your thanksgiving to God, he says one thing he can do. The peace of God that passes human understanding will be yours. Who wants peace? As we move towards Christmas, each one of us wants peace. Don't be anxious. Don't worry. 
in every situation, do what? Thanks give it. Because he has been so good to us that we have to learn how to express our gratitude to the God of compassion, the God of kindness, the God of mercy, the God of salvation, the God who made it possible for us to be here today. You know one thing I, I try to do? Try it once in a while. You will understand how gracious God is. Just hold your breath for five minutes. Have you tried it? No, just try 30 seconds. Then you can go to one minute and two minutes. Unless you are a seal swimming. But, you know, but we have to be able to express our thanksgiving. That is why offering time, blessing time, the Lord is good, and all the time, let's give.